You can only tell because look at that thing goes. Is that your new bed? Is that your new bed? He likes his new bed. He thinks this is his new bed. I think that's his new bed. So it's like a So I did a little thing called cement block gardening this year. And I have some pole beans, some zucchini, some rutabagis, and a green pepper. I also did cabbage. And as you noticed, I had a cabbage growing in there and a little one growing right over here. It's all organic gardening. I used nothing on here except for water and made some um, compost tea. This is my compost box that I dump everything in. And this is the this is my first, my first load of dirt. It took about two months to make dirt out of glass, grass clippings, weeds, a bunch of other stuff. And there's my bird garden. Tall stuff is the dill. Oregano. And of course, we can't forget the plants that are growing inside my shed. There's my Anna, Anaheim chili peppers. This is a large array of different kinds of peppers. Here's my large tomato. I had to take them out of the window because he just didn't have any room left to grow, so he sits over here now. Okay. That has been my fun project all summer long. Got a lot going on. Something stuck in every corner just about. A new fence that my husband just put up for me. Isn't that gorgeous? Very nice fence. I love it. There's one of my little tired helpers laying on the ground. Where's one, Bashan? Oh, Bashan, we don't eat stones and sticks. That's not good. Here's the other two. Playing <laughs> hard, like you do all day. And these are their chairs. Playing these chairs with each other. Here, can I see this seat here, please? Look at Come on, come on down. Can I see, can I show everybody? That, that's so chair. <laughs> right in the, right in the hole. They chewed the seat out of it. Rudy, be nice to him. Sophia, no, you be nice to him. Come on, Dexter. Dexter, Dexter, leave Rudy alone now. Be a good boy. Oh, sure. Go by Tucker. Tucker will, Tucker will protect you. rest of the bowl's food and there's all the guys waiting for their supper. Okay, you need to get some supper. Sophia gets some supper. Tucker gets some supper. And the fashion gets a bowl of supper. guys are waiting for their rawhide. A little chew for the end of the day and so you gotta wait till these guys are done.
Guys, all waiting for your rawhide stick, Tucker. Rudy. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bastion, leave it. Leave it, Bastion. Bastion. Okay, you can have that one then, Bastion. Guess you have to have a bigger one today. Yeah. Yeah. A little peace and quiet now. There's Bastion helping Dad fix the vacuum cleaner. Are you helping, Bastion? Oh, be careful. Okay, now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see. Sophia, trying to help now. So what are you doing there, Dad? I'm taking apart this to see the component that I need. Uh -huh. Obviously, I think the component that I need... Yes? Um, I believe the component I need is... Actually, Hurry up, get down. I think the motor, I think you need a whole motor here. Why? There's a motor here and a motor here on this model. Why would I need a whole new motor? Because it might have burnt it out. You can fix it for me, Fia. Go ahead, Fia. Fix, it, fix the vacuum cleaner for Mama. No? Hey, folks, good news. I'm really happy. The vacuum is fixed. I looked at it and I figured the motor was bad. And uh, so I called Dyson and they told me that there's a little button on here. Oh, nice. It's called, uh, and I wish I could zoom in on it so you could read it. It just see. says on off. That's all it says on off brush right there. See if I can get it to come in. I can't. Anyway, this little button right here. How to do is plug the vacuum cleaner in and hold that button down for 10 seconds and fire her up and she runs. <laughs> so I spent about an hour and a half trying to fix the vacuum. But really what happened was we just blew a switch on it. <laughs> oh God. I should have called Dyson first. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, great day, uh, positive day, because you know what? I didn't give up on getting that vacuum fixed, and that's half the battles. I knew there was a way. I knew it was something. It couldn't be that difficult to do. I just couldn't find a reset switch. I did say to Debbie that maybe this needs to be reset, but I didn't know where it was. I, didn't, I guess I didn't look hard enough. I was looking for a little red button or something. So I called Dyson, and they helped me out. So now her vacuum runs. Hey folks, thanks for approaching 13,000 uploads and it's thanks to you. Uh, like I said, if you keep watching, we will keep putting them up. So from me to you and from Deb and from all the dogs, have a great day, have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.